Hi everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to add plugins to your ThingSpeak channel. Um, I uh, posting this because I couldn't find anything on the web showing you how to do this and I finally figured it out so I figured you might be interested. But here's my channel. I'm going to highlight my channel 34247 and uh, now this is the I'm in the public view and I've already got two plugins around in here. So let's go and add another plugin. Here's a plugin up here. Um, let's make a new plugin. Uh, I want to do a Google Gauge plugin. Create it. So here's the code for the plugin. And if I was to uh, just let's make this public so we can see it on the public channel. And let's save the plugin. So right now, um, I can click on this plugins thing. These are the three plugins I've created. Here's the new one. So let's view what we just created. So it says light level and it's 34 and uh, you know I don't know what to do with this thing so forget this let's get rid of it. Let's edit it. So in editing there's three things. There's HTML code up here. Um, you could mess with some of that stuff if you want. Um, I'm going to show you how to rig it to my channel. So down here you see very var channel ID 9 that's the channel that's feeding their data to it. I'm going to paste um, my channel into that. Um, you can set the gauge value, different thing here. The name of the gauge, light level. I'm going to change this to solar power. Okay. And uh, API key. I probably don't need that. Um, let's see. There was something else I think I changed. Um, Ah, data field one. So I've got um, six data fields coming into this thing now. So I think I'd like to grab data field five um, for my thing speak channel. And that's basically it. Now when I save this plugin, um, and then I go to plugins, and then I can view this plugin that I just created. You can see now it says solar power. It's starting at zero and um, it's it's listening to that uh, um, channel that I told it to listen to. So anyway, that's that's how you edit the plugin. Um, and uh, those are the three things that you got to change to have let it listen to your channel. Um, so here's the uh, here's the code again. So channel ID you got to change. You have to change um, the name of the gauge to make it suit what you want to do and you got to change that data field so those three things there will make it uh, read your data thanks for listening